Hey everyone, Eric here from Mavericks. Got a cool little tip for you guys today. Hope you guys are doing well. I know it's just a new year, at least for making this video. Hope you guys are going to have a great new year today. But we have a cool tip for you, um, or just if you're curious, actually, maybe you bought a new computer over the holiday season, or looking to get a new, new one, or maybe you just took the motherboard out of the box. And you actually see this. This is actually a B550 box. Uh, again, it's not the latest and greatest, but it's actually funny because we have it here, and this is a perfect example to show you guys anyway. So maybe you've opened the box, right? You've already took out the board. And actually, sometimes for some of them, they actually have a little compartment. You won't even really notice or even probably even care. Um, but you open this up, usually there's something on the bottom there. There's some, like, manuals. And if you actually... Uh, are lucky enough to get one I wouldn't say lucky enough to get one they still make them they actually come with this little CD in here and you're like what is the CD why do I even care about what the CD is obviously the new case the new build I just have doesn't have room for a CD or a DVD drive whatsoever and this is so obsolete why do these actually come with it well these are actually these are motherboard drivers and usually will come very specifically to your motherboard right um, and what you want to do is you definitely want to make sure that you get the manufactured drivers now It's funny because these come with the CD depending on when they were made You probably don't have the latest and greatest because it's a CD, right? It has all the data already on here But if you guys actually want the latest and greatest and um, especially if you're making a new build You want to make sure that you actually do this. So we're gonna actually go over here I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Um, if you have any type of motherboard, you just really want to go to this um, you see this is a B550, it's uh, Gaming Plus, so in this MSI one. So we actually go over, let me go to my screen capture. I'm at my screen capture, and you can just Google it. It's probably the best way if you just want to Google it. You'll see it there, and we're going to go ahead and click um, Support. Or you can go to Motherboard Manufacturer page and just hit Support for it. It's the same thing. We can go there anyway. It's going to take you right to, well, so we got to accept all the cookies usually. <laughs> well, you don't have to, you just hit X. And you can actually go here and it'll actually have this. There's a nice little uh, a drop page here or a splash page. And you can actually go to driver. And you want to make sure you choose the operating system. I would say most likely just go for Windows 11 for now, especially if you're making a new build, uh, depending on especially the processor too. You probably want to go that way anyway, but it's a newer one. They had the new 22H2 update. So hopefully you're going with a uh, Windows 11 for now. If not Windows 10, let me know why you still are on Windows 10. Or are you going to make the transition soon? Let me know actually down below. So you're going to go here, you're going to say system and driver, system and chipset drivers. There's a driver you can actually hit download for each one. Um, you want to at least get the, the AMD chipset driver or just an Intel chipset driver. That's really important because um, sometimes even when you uh, download it or if you just let Windows actually do it in the first place, it's going to be downloading these anyway, but it won't be the latest and greatest updates for me. You won't get the latest one. I know this one's showing 927, but sometimes you get older ones. You want uh, any type of fixes. Um, sometimes they have PSP security patches, SM bus drivers, PCI drivers, uh, newer power plans, and just better system performance, and you want the best communication between uh, the hardware and software that you possibly can. Um, some people install it, they don't even know that they have an audio driver. Sometimes that act there's actual chipset on there. It's called it's usually Realtek is a usually famous one. There's sometimes Intel HD one, or if you use a graphics card, it's going to be having the driver as well. But now, I definitely want to make sure that you download these. These are EXE files, so when you hit download, you're just going to download it right away. Um, you will see it sometimes if you don't have uh, the driver installed or if you just go to Windows Installer or if you just want to right-click it when you um, turn on your computer for the first time, you go right-click in the taskbar um, somewhere. You can hit Device Manager, and this would be the same thing for Windows 11. I know this, <laughs> this is my work computer, people. I know I'm on Windows 10 still, but it's all right. Um, and you will see here sometimes there will be I'll show I'll pull up the screen now where it's going to show that the drivers actually aren't installed But all the drivers here are actually installed and there's lots of different ones Obviously for each one and you'll see even for this one You'll see high definition audio device and there's real tech audio. There's lots of different ones um, for each individual uh, Chipset that you have there right for the platform the Intel ones actually came with this little nice USB here and It's pretty much the same thing, but they actually did make it come with it and it's not a CD instead obviously this makes more sense even if it does come with this you should still definitely get one of go to the website manufacturer website and get the latest chips and drivers for that you have the most best performance you don't want any blue screens or no one forget that Windows update doesn't do the the latest and greatest it might do just like a Windows certified one but I don't recommend really going through Windows update definitely go to manufacturer's website and that's why you have this in the first place right it's there for a reason, people. So, hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.